So what we're going to do in this lesson is show a simple way to save data to the device. We're going to build a simple application that allows the user to select a certain color prefer preference and then save that preference to the device and then later when the application launches that, that color preference will be what displays to the user. So I'm starting off with a single view application template and I'm going to draw drag out the initial controls I'll need. We're going to use a segmented control to have the user select the co their color preference and then we're going to have a button that allows them to save that color preference. I'm going to make the segment control a bit bigger here because we're going to have them select between three different color preferences and then just center that segmented control in the view controller. And then for the segmented control I'm going to set my initial options. So I want three segments instead of two so in the attribute inspector I'll up that to three. For the first segment I'm going to change the label to red. For the second segment, I'm going to change the label to yellow. And for the third segment, I'm going to change the label to green. So when the user taps on each one of these segments, then the background color of this application will change. Notice for in the storyboard, then, my hierarchy is that I've got a view controller, and inside that view controller, I've got its base view, which covers the entire background here. And then inside that view, I've got my segment control and my button. The first thing I'm going to do then is make sure that the when the user taps a different selection on the button that the background color of that view changes. There's a couple of things I'm going to need for that. First I'm going to create a property for this. What I'm going to do is hide the utility pane and show the assistance assistant inspector so I have easy access to that to viewcontroller.h file for this view controller. I'm going to click and drag from the segment control to my .h file and declare that segment control to be an outlet and I'll call it my color selector and it is a segment control and the storage will be weak. Great. The other thing I'm want, going to want to do then is also have a method fire when the value of this segmented control changes. So I'm going to control drag from the segment control again, and this time declare an action. And I'll call it change background color. And although I could, I'm not going to actually pass any, any uh, variables, arguments into that method. So none for the arguments, and make that connection. And I'll switch back to my normal view and bring back my utility pane. Okay, so let's go over to the viewcontroller.m file and implement our method. By making the connection via that shortcut, it automatically creates the stub of my method down here at the, as the very last thing in my viewcontroller.m file. Inside the curly brace, then, I'm going to want to change the view of the background control, the, the color of the background control, uh, of the background view, excuse me. So, because I, the background, because the segment control will, the selected segment will have an index value between 0 and 2, 0 for red, 1 for yellow, and 2 for green, I'm going to use a switch case statement. So switch, and what I'm going to test for is the currently the current index number of whatever is selected in that segment control. So self my color selector dot selected segment index. And I don't need the square braces for that, excuse me. So self dot my color selector dot selected segment index will give me an integer which represents the currently selected segment in that segment control. In case the index, in case the integer is zero, meaning that the first segment was selected, I'm going to set the background color to red. To do that I can say open square brace self dot view, which is a reference to the view of this view controller, set background color is a method. And I need to pass in a color in this case, from the UI color class, I can use one of the predefined colors, which I'll say UI color red color. 
So if the segment could, if the index is zero, we'll set the background color to red. Now I need to do that two more times in case the uh, index is one or two. So I'm just going to copy this whole case statement and then paste it two more times below that. And then for the first pasted one, I'm going to change the case from zero to one. So if the index is one, meaning that yellow was selected, we'll change the background color to yellow. And in case the index is two, we'll change the background color to green. Now let's test that. When I change the index, when I change the segmented the segment control, the background color is changing appropriately. Notice, however, that the initial state of the app had the background color, the red selected, but the background was white. So I'm going to make one change to my user interface to fix that problem. When the application starts up, red is selected, but the background color is white. To fix that mismatch, I'm just going to set the initial background color of that view to red. In my hierarchy, I'm going to select the view, and then in the attribute inspector, I'll change the background color to red. Now when I run the app, the initial background color is red, which matches our initial selection there. Notice that if I change the color selection in the app to green, for example, and then I totally quit out of the app, so I'm going to completely quit the app, and then when I relaunch the app, it goes back to red. We're going to change this application so that when the user selects a new, a new color and then clicks their button, that color preference will be saved at the device, and when the device relaunches, it will automatically load that last saved preference. So, back in Xcode, let's work with our button now. First, I'm going to change the text of our button to say, save preference. And then I want a method to fire when we tap on that button. So again, I'm going to hide my utility pane, show the assistant, the assistant editor, and control drag from my button to the .h file. And the method name will be, well first I'll change this to an action, and the method name will be save color preference. and I don't need to pass in any arguments for that. And it fires on the touch-up inside event for the button. Switch back to my normal view, bring back my utility pane, and then let's go to the viewcontroller.m file and implement that method. My save color preference method, method is at the very bottom here, and inside the curly braces we're going to do the saving. The nice thing about NS user defaults is that it's super easy to use to save simple values to basically a plist file for your app. So what I'm going to do is save the integer value of that selected segment index to a key in my default in my NS user defaults and then I'll access that information later. The reference I'm going to use is two square braces and then NS user defaults, standard user defaults. And then I just need to save a key value pair to the standard user defaults. In this case, I'm going to be saving an integer. So the method I can use is set integer the integer I want to save is my self dot my color selector dot selected segment index. And I need a key to assign to that value so I can reference it later. And I'll just use the string color preference. And that's it. That's all you need to do to save that integer to the device to access later. The other half of what we need to do then is when our application launches, we're going to want to pull that integer value back out from the data saved in the device and use it in our application. I'm going to use that, do that in the view to load method. 
So in the view did load method, I'm going to define an integer called my color integer. And its value will be two square braces again, NS user defaults, standard user defaults. And then I can just call the method integer for key. And now I need to pass in that same key name that I saved it under, which was color preference. Now what I'm going to do is use it again a switch case statement to set my background color according to whatever value was in an integer. So the easiest way to do that is just copy the switch, the switch case statement I created before and paste it into my method here. And in place of the selected segment index inside that parentheses, I'm just going to use my color integer variable. Now, when I run the application, I can set the color to green, and I'll save my preference. And then I'm going to quit out of the app entirely. And last time when we did this and relaunched the app, it was red. And now when I relaunch the app, it's green, which is according to this, the, the preference that I saved. Notice there's one discordant note in here is that although it did pull out my integer value from the NS user defaults and use that to set the background color, we didn't change this, the default selected value for the segmented control. So it's currently set to red, while the background color is set to green. So we should make one change to our method. I'm going to open up my viewcontroller.m file again. And this time, before my switch case statement, I'm going to add one statement which will change the currently selected index value of my segmented control as well. So sending a message to the segmented control, I'll say self dot my color selector, which is a variable name we gave to that segmented control. And I want to set the selected segment index and I'll set it to whatever my color integer value is. Now when I run the application, the segment control is set to green and the background set color is set to green. So in this, app, in this application you've seen how to use the NS user defaults, standard user defaults, to save a simple integer value to the device and then later pull that integer value back out from the device and use it in your application.